everyone, my name is The Mighty Routine, and welcome to episode 3 of the Tiny Little Bunny. On the end, the wolf gray, I thought that said GANG! I gotta get banged! Farewell, Stan, listen, no in the bullshit! Ignoring the bullshit, the BDDDS that I am well known for at this point. This is the third episode of Tiny Bunny. Now, unfortunately, of the time of me recording this, this is the only last available piece of content for the game at the moment. Because, uh, for those who don't know, in case you're unaware, I understand you might be a little bit ignorant. Ignorant is bliss! This game is, um, sadly, early access. Think of it like Poppy, um, Playtime, where, you know, episodes are released in the same format of chapters for that game. So, unfortunately, episode four and five are not a thing at the moment. I, I imagine they are gonna make it get done. I imagine, get done. I imagine they are gonna make it come to fruition, because the fact that there's been three episodes of the game already. So, clearly, it's successful enough to continue the story. It's just, I don't know how long it'll take for episode four and five to come out with because I love this game! And I want to finish it! Man, listen, it is what it is, you know, no one bullshit. We're gonna jump with you and try to enjoy the last bit of content that is sadly available. Oh, that's right, the bully, the fat so is gone. He was the one who hated Baronin. You think he did it? Ah, oh, yes, the kid who got his ass clapped was able to murder him. How'd you know? It's like I got a knife. I mean, listen, I'm just saying, I understand, you know, self hatred, then again, and self hatred. Then again, if, even if I was in a timeline, I guess if I was in a timeline where I actually punched him, you know, I beat him up, then maybe, you know, it would be believable that I could, I guess, realistically do it. But considering the fact that he has a gang, you know, 1v1, you really think these skinny arms are gonna beat up that fat so? <coughs> I mean, I am pretty strong, but I'm just saying, I hear he's a weirdo. Listen! It's not nice to spread rumors, you know. I up my glasses. Oh no, my temple. Do they know? The glasses! Simon was clutching, clutching, clutching them in his fist while I was getting beat. And in just a couple hours, the item, the lost item, was lying on the ledge of my window. Quite strange. Don't forget the feathers. It was hard to imagine that Simon, Simon, suddenly got guilty conscience and returned my glasses a strange way. Yes, I would imagine the bully feeling sad. That's not right. Not in this story. I was shocked but kept walking toward the classroom, accompanied by nasty whispers all around. <laughs> I didn't do it. Don't assume! I mean, I did, but I'm just saying. The photo still stood before my very eyes. Simon has gone missing. Simon gone. His fat finger. <laughs> Is that really important? Dito was never, will never get to my skinny little throat ever again. His signet ring won't smash into my chin. He'll never humiliate me ever again. Wasn't that what I wished for? On the other hand, did I really wish Simon to become a murky stain on the notice board? Well, I mean, I, I, I understand. Listen, I, I imagine you didn't, I, you didn't fantasize the idea of murder. Well, still, he was still someone's son or grandson that was, and he went through the same struggles as me. Are you sure? I mean, then again, I guess he is a transfer student, but you know, I don't know if people are really picking on him since he's the bully. Why are you gonna bully the bully? Then again, he probably gets bullied himself. Listen, I'm just saying there has to be a reason for the cause. Is there not? Did I really wish for my unseen company to despise them in such a brutal fashion? Well, aren't you just imagining things? He's probably fine. He probably found a large pile of candy in the forest. I mean, no one even listen. He probably has a sweet tooth. I mean, then again, his sweet is pretty right in, so maybe he doesn't need a candy, but I'm just saying, I didn't know the answer. Nonetheless, the the beautiful little angel, my sweet cheeks. <laughs> Shut up. School still had something nice about it. Unfortunately, fortunately so. Paulian, the girl with a violin, was like a mountain spring, like well water that you got down, pressing your lips against the zodiac outer ring of a bucket and can never get enough of that. That did not, <laughs> that did not sound right any because they way. Still though, what if I make it one of the characters in the story I draw? The protagonist would save her from the terrifying monster. As soon as I thought of monsters, a bunch of my classmates slid down the rails, smirking like the sunny earth from the alien. I immediately felt love fear written in my stomach. Listen, in no casino manner can they believe that I did this, right? I mean, you literally, all three of you saw me get my ass clapped. So there's no way you think I would really do this, right? But of course not. I didn't want to cross paths with Roka and Busha after what happened yesterday. Guys, I like to sort of my guy, especially since, you know, Simon suddenly went missing. Bye bye, my sweet love. And just like that, it's time to transfer into the class. Oh, Willis Polia, a sweet madame. I entered the classroom and went towards the last row. Hey, guys. After all the chatter suddenly died down, so I walked there in complete silence. All the chatter suddenly disappeared. Sorry. It felt like my classmates pushed and poked me with their stairs. They carefully observed my every move. They looked at me with a mortifying mix of 
pity, <laughs> ridicule, and desertia. Like a scientist looked at an ugly representation of a newfound species of worms. Ah, yes. I stared at the desk with a huge pile of library textbooks on top. My fish was fist clenched. Felt like I was the one who disappeared in that snowy forest, and my desk was finally used for something worthwhile. Swing. <laughs> I'm so sorry guys, I love seeing like Simon! Simon Cynthia chair stood in front of me. The chair that once belonged to Vova kinda of does somewhere in the classroom. Guess I can sit down, but then again, if there's anything. What are you up to, madame? I guess we'll sit. It's not like we have any other option. After a moment of hesitation, ah, oh, you're also in the classroom. I didn't realize you were right in front of me, madame. After a moment of hesitation, I sat down at Barbarian's desk, the place where I was supposed to be assigned by Little Brian at first. The chat of his room. As if someone just unpaused the movie, they press play. Hey, madame, Barbarian's grandma made such a fuss when he didn't return home. Strange. Okay, listen. Like, listen, let's, I, I didn't do, listen, my damn, I don't know what you're talking about again. I didn't do anything. He beat me up. You think I'd be hit up? Well, thanks. I'm flat. Like, never. First, she ran to the school, then called the cops. Yes, yes, yes. I then snuck a stunning glance at the mirror, then leaned to a neighbor and whisper something. I hear Anton. Fuck that joke. <laughs> Girls from the second road also leaned in. She shared some with them, too. Whispers. Not yes, or just. I kept catching her stare on my son. Her neighbor stared too. The whole class was watching me. It was like they felt the need to watch me because they were searching for traces of blood on my little finger. Jelly, I can promise you! They would never. I wanted to defend myself and shout, guys, listen, I'm innocent, I swear. Here's the proof. But I would imagine it's not that simple. Well, hello there, boys. One and two. The Olympics turned around and stared at me in silence. They looks, their looks were dripping with malice. Sorry, but why? It's not like I did anything. What did I do to them? Well, they probably assume it's me and some because you fucking mad. Ah, uh, yes. I went to my house. I grabbed the shotgun and I fucking shot him in the forehead. How'd you know? Are they on to me? Their friend was missing and still focus on me. Quite strange. Suddenly, I noticed but I should really a hole in my nose with his glasses. His eyes! Sorry, my eyes are clearly fucking broken. I'm on a goddamn fucking glasses. It felt like he was about to point his fingers at me and shout at the top of his nose. Everyone, look! I just snatched his glasses yesterday. And no, he has them back. Yeah, okay, I will admit, that does not help our scenario in every single way. Because the fact that they did beat me up. And I now have my glasses back. Yes, I will admit. Murder! That doesn't help me. But it remains silent that if there was nothing special at all about my glasses. I mean, I mean, they are quite fun, so are they not? I may be going mad, but I think Bush knows something. He knows something, but he won't tell me what. Well, because obviously the enemy, my enemy is friend. He doesn't want to tell me. As if looking for protection, I clutched the ruler into my hand. Until my hand. Bang. Hey, hi. What's up, bitch? You don't have to be Columbia to solve this. Oh, how the creature comes back. Well, clearly not me. We were best friends after all. The metal ruler fell out of my weak fingers. It hit the floor of a jingle, and that made the other kids shudder. Yeah, listen, guys, guys, guys. Let's calm down. Let's not jump to any conclusion. Because you bit her tongue. And it squirmed nervously. I was not the only one to catch wind of that change. Won't get in bushy, looked around and winced and content. Too bad that they weren't afraid of me like everyone else. Well, you don't know. Shut it! I bet your burn just got a whipping from his old hag and ran off. They'll find him soon. They'll find him, all right. Intervene with his stomach cut open. Well, I got that's quite extreme, don't you? I imagine swim on a snowy blanket, his face white like a fish belly, split down the middle by the cutting of his mouth, snowflakes falling on his glassy eyes and filling up his throat. Quite the imagination we got there, I see. See? I can almost hear his conscious tone. It's all your fault! Why was Simon the only one that got his yet dessert for bullying me? Crazy. When all them supposed to disappear, Ron got bought the bitch! Along with everyone laughing onlooker. Well, you know, karma and all, I can only take one person at a time. They'll all come, I'm sure. Of course, Simon did me a favor by disappearing. Thanks to him, my classmates now stared at me in awe and pity. In disgust. What if I'll have to repay that favor suit? 
on the dark creek, and Polyon, our mischievous little queen, has finally entered the classroom. I sure up in a hurry, so she wouldn't see me looking like a scarecrow. Don't worry, madam. I made it. I beat him up. I fucked him. Oh, you fuck me. <laughs> Polyon went thirsty without looking at me. Ah, oh, yes, 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 to be. What it is, the ringer trill announced the start of the class. Alright, stop messing around. CLASS STUNT! You too, Petrov. Well, sorry, sorry, don't need to be so rude. Leia Plano went to her desk, following by a police in a universe. Hey, what's up, officer man of the law? How is you doing? It was a man of the village just recently. Oh, and it stares so sharp, you couldn't quite get caught on it. Well, you sure understand my I guess there were technically two police officers. Listen, I am used to the fat so, but I didn't know there was a tall skinny man amongst him. Ahem. Hello there, kids. This is Senior Lieutenant Contita. Boy, mother, die! Dico, These fucking names. He's gonna ask you a couple of questions and give you a small PSA. No, Dr. Police Officer was way better to study! <laughs> I, on the other hand, was ready to sit through hundreds of hours of Russian literature just to escape the litany's oppressive stare. Those brown eyes go around the classroom looking for me. Hair is stood on the back of my neck, and an icicle has lodged in my gut. Is it true that Bobby got killed by a serial killer? Shush! Shush! Silence in the culture. We're all scared. I don't truthfully believe that, if I'm being honest. I don't think you're scared. I feel like you get off on having an ego trip of power, madame. I'm just making my own observations. I could be tripping. I could be lying. I could be assuming. Maybe the killer is somewhere close. Maybe. Maybe they're even sitting <gasps> among us. He called and stepped in between the rows of desks and started walking at an extraordinarily slow pace. Brushing his fingers against the chairs, he passed by. Some of the students almost broke their necks following his movements. <laughs> That's how a crowd of commoners would gleefully anticipate a public execution in the Middle Ages. And he just walked, getting closer and closer to me. I gritted my teeth to stop myself from screaming. <laughs> Calm down, breathe. We didn't do anything, I can swear. Even if we did want to speak the truth, everyone would call us a loony. Let's shut it. You didn't kill or kidnap anyone. Exactly. So, why are you freaking out? Oh, you are the same guy. I thought you were a lot fatter. I'm going to be honest. That's me assuming. Listen, I have nothing wrong against fat people. Okay, listen, fat is beautiful. Skinny is beautiful. No, listen, everyone's beautiful. I'm just saying, I thought you were a bit larger, but I guess I was wrong. He already knew the answer to this question, but the policeman still asked in a stern voice. Anton Petro. Stand up, Petro. Okay, my muscles turned to stone. I got a fun glued myself from the chair. I felt like I could hear all my jumps creak in the process. If only it could be somewhere far away in the forest, thinking myself in a snow pile, rolling up into a ball of hair. The officer stared at me as if he was about to lock a pair of handcuffs on my wrist. I wonder how cold these braces are to touch. I imagine imagining getting myself jailed and put into a jewelry of detention Santa with tens of Simons would constantly harass me. Apologies for the language. I know I'm jubilating my words right now. I apologize. I don't know anything i have nothing to do with this <laughs> nobody's accusing you of anything for now only then i noticed the file that said case number in his hand it had a gray cover made from rough cart it flopped onto the desk like a guillotine blade that slid down on someone's neck. Was that description really necessary? With a measured motion, Tipita opened the file, still studying me with his gaze. Could you not just take me out of the classroom and do like a 1v1? Listen, I understand. You're hoping that the pressure will crack me down and open me like a goddamn fucking wallet up. I'm just saying, listen, could you not take me somewhere else? Do we really gotta do this in front of everyone? <laughs> I got a glimpse of documents and photos. They showed prints on snow. They looked like animal prints. Yeah. Have you talked the same in before? Well, the fine talking, I guess technically speaking, yes, but still. I only knew him for a week. The fine knew. We had a fight some time ago. Fabian is a troubled teen. Indeed. A true pain in the rear. Why don't we send him somewhere else? That's
Okay, so the officer replied with a meaningful nod and fished out a notebook out of the file. Hey, is this yours? Yeah, I got beat up. He took it. We found it in the forest. How odd. In the area where the tractor's driver, who was blowing snow there last, saw baboon. I started blinking in bewilderment. Well, sir, listen. Well, because reason they're inside my school bag, this notebook probably just got lost somewhere in the bushes. It's not good. Okay, the little knew about the school bra. But was he aware about the fight in the forest? Can you? Was he watching from the forest like some goddamn pervert? I have witnesses I could testify to Simon. I walk in a different direction after that. Oh, you 100% sure about that? I look towards the boys, hopefully. But I would imagine, you know, they probably don't give a shit about me if I'm honest. They probably want me to get fucked if I'm being real. Room guy who sat behind to put a finger to his lips. Yeah, when the officer quickly turned around, he pretended to pick on his nose. I deciphered his signal. Boys, I worry, we're probably saying stuff to snitches get stitches. Well, then again, like a situation like this? Yeah, I frantically fixed my glasses. So, what are you doing in the forest yesterday, Anton? Yep, yes, yesterday, yesterday. What? But define yesterday. What? Yesterday was Sunday. Why would I be? I mean, I guess technically speaking, my glasses were there, but still, I'm, yeah, yesterday. What the fuck were you talking about yesterday? I go to school through the forest. Huh? Oh. Obviously, it could have easily fallen out of my bag. <laughs> easily, just like me pronouncing this half true. Listen, it's a little bit of a lie. It's a white lie. That's all it is. Probably shouldn't be dealing with the police officer being honest. But I'm just saying, be careful out there. I'll try. Before I could realize whether it was a genuine piece of advice or a valid threat, the teacher said, "Class, the officer will now tell you about some rules you should." Follow. So the killer does exist! We can't make any of this public for now. And again, also, animals, you never know. My earpiece! Whether the criminal really does exist or not, you should be mindful of your safety, little ones. The police, your parents, and your teachers all watch over you. I don't really believe they're being fucking honest. But no one guards you better than yourself. All right. Any questions? A soccer ball of arms were from this. Yes! I, I, I'm so deep, dude! Hey, Dad, did a kill? I just so good! Those boys! I knew he had a form! Listen, guys, let's calm down, okay? The kids shouting over each other. Swam in the police officer with quests! In an attempt to calm down the chorus, he moved towards the black bar. Gray file was left lying in front of me. Yeah, I stared at it, my breathing so ragged that it <laughs> might have looked like someone who just ran a hundred miles sprint, if I'm being honest. Bets of sweat rolled down my back. <laughs> So we have an option to read or skip. Terry, stop taking my fucking ears! Oh, so I am very curious. Oh my god. I want to open the book, but I don't know if that's a smart idea. The officer is literally there. He's gonna fucking see me. But then... Again... Fuck it. Oh, I know! <laughs> My hand instinctively moved away as if that stare actually hurt. The officer just kept staring at me without saying a word, making me squirm under the weight of this uncomfortable silence and a sneery look at my classmate. Then he suddenly continued his speech as if nothing happened. Sorry. Boy, what am I doing again? Sorry, sorry, sorry. It, it was a mistake. It was a mistake. I clicked the deep surprise, pushed myself back into the chair, blinking while I'm in. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I was just so curious. Officer, the officer silently gathered the documents, gave me a certain look. Yeah, I would imagine. Well, aren't you a curious boy? I am indeed. Very curious. Hot napping. Let me say this again. If you see anyone suspicious in the villas, be it near the school or on the forest shell, contact the police immediately. You know our numbers, right? Thanks for listening, boys and girls. Thank you, Lila Palavra. And <clears throat> we'll find your classmate. I'm sure you won't. My thoughts are evil for some reason. I couldn't control them. I tried to switch to the Latinist speech uh, about suspicious and vindictive. What if I saw the killer before? What if I knew? It's the fox, isn't it? I'll never snitch. She's too pretty. Suspicious people. <laughs> How suspicious was the fox girl that wandered in darkness? Good question. How suspicious is the fox who can talk? That's a very good fucking question. Very suspicious, by me. But then again, if she spreads the legs. <laughs> Shut up. A weirdo that always appears out of nowhere and dissolves into thin air with her riddles and rhymes. Plus, the police officer ain't gonna fucking believe me again. So, no point of revealing that piece of information. Did she really harm the hulking Simon? Probably. Maybe she offered heaven in a heaven. Should I tell the officer about her? No. Wait. What if I get mocked for speaking out? What if they'll start whispering behind my back? Or what's even worse, think that I'm insane? Yeah. Woman gave me a stern look over the shoulder. I thought someone like him would approve of cooperating with the police. I would imagine so. Had to brush through Dardo nervously behind the linguist sitting in front of him. My hands were glued to the desk. Goodbye. It'll be too late soon. Stay. 
for him. I, uh, I, uh, I feel like there's no realistic reason to tell him that a person who wears a fox mask roams at night. No one's gonna fucking believe me if I'm being honest. But staying silent doesn't mean anything. Plus, I'm not even talking about them to begin with, right? I, I, I feel like in what scenario would they be mad? Unless I literally snitched on him for pulling out a fucking knife on me. I feel like he would have no reason to be pissed. God damn it, man. I un ah. oh, my palm from the tabletop. I need to warn him at the very least for O's sake to ensure her safety in the house. Yeah, the squeaking pin. I raise my hand. Unfortunately! Excuse <coughs> me. Most two dozen heads tend my way. Anxiety! I'm listening. Oh, like I was being stuck. Under a microscope, I say eyes, eyes, eyes are quite creepy. Yesterday, when I was walking to school in the morning, I saw an unfamiliar person. Don't say that there, Fox, please. My classmates started whispering. It's like a frown, a deep wrinkle adorned the space between his eyebrows. There's no way to be able to tell if it was outsider or a local. Exactly, I'm new to the village. How the fuck would I know? He just moved to our village after all. Yet a kiss smirked. Katie flashed an evil smile. Of course, she did, little bitch. Calm down. Can you describe the. Um, they got fancy ears, they got fangs! And then it dawned on me, I could do more than describe them. What can I do? I can draw them? I know how to draw, kind of. After spitting out this confession, I expected everyone to laugh, but that didn't happen. Even Kate just stayed silent. Well, they had tilted her head and studied me with an intriguing look on her face. I was pleased by his way of attention. I really am not for talking eyes with my goddamn fucking anxiety. Made me feel bolder, so I asked, do you want me to? He nodded. Of course he does. My classmate stared at me in anticipation, plenty and smiled. It was the best word I could get for my bonus. Well, come on. Um... Oh, this is not gonna go well in any right considered name. I should have stayed silent like a pussy. Well, if I'm gonna be honest, you know, I might as well be truthful to every degree. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the person. How did you know? <laughs> this is funny to me. This is funny. I want to. Ah, oh, yeah, lovely hair yeah, you have, madame. Wow, you can really make some interesting creations. <laughs> okay, enough of the bullshit. Let me let me get the correct one up there. Well, this doesn't help, but it is the truth, is it not? Yeah. Ah. My drawing to the office. Uh, what is this? A fox? Very funny shit. We sent a pack. I'm being honest. This is why I didn't. Oh my god. Fuck this shit. Fuck this shit. Fuck this shit. Fuck this shit. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. No, no, no. Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. No, no, no. I should have stayed silent. Exactly. I'll keep my head down like a bunny. Fuck that shit. Fuck that shit. Fuck it. I don't care. Fuck it. Fuck it. There's no good possibility I can come out that for me looking like a goddamn fucking idiot. I lock my fingers and zip my mouth. <laughs> The key. No one would know. Pussy would laugh in my face anyway. The bell rang. Like Pilia passed by without looking my way. Pulling and left after her. Yeah, it's probably best anyway. My classmates went silent at the time, as if someone muted the sound on a TV. They followed me with their eyes the whole time. I was passing between the road. <laughs> Judgmental looks. Of course, it's me. It's an. It's him. It's him. It's me. Did I take off the glasses? I squeezed through the barricade made of dust, looking for Pulia. Listen, let's just leave her alone. She probably doesn't want to talk to us either if I'm being 100% honest. Hey, bye. I moved into my new best friend. What's up, jackasses? You want to play a game of tic-tac-toe? Three in a row? You want to play a game of hide and seek? And when you find me, you beat the shit out of me. Decide to rat us out to the cops? No, I didn't say anything, you asshats. I sure as fuck thought about it, eh? I'm tired of me. Listen, my guy. See? They, oh, they're, they're just assume, Bro, you're assuming everything about you, okay? Listen, not everything about you, you two egotists. You're talking maniacs. Oh, okay, I was thinking the goddamn fucking fight. See? Sexy fox! You're very wrong if you think that without soy you'll have a better time here. Well, I mean, you're not wrong. <laughs> we'll make this place help you. Got it? I didn't do it. So I'm sorry. This is why I should have just punched him, but I'm a pacifist. See you, four eyes. My head tilted forward from his slab. <laughs> what a loser. <laughs> uh, my nightmare clearly wasn't about to end. 
Oh my god, man. Maybe next time I just draw, I just pe draw a piece of paper with their fucking faces on it and fucking lie. But that doesn't feel right. It's been seven days since the lieutenant visited our class. At first glance, everyone was still the same. The forest still held out its godly claw toward the village, and the wind whipping, wiping, whipped up white flags weed from powdery snow every night. When my parents eyes at any other room, I would turn up the vo TV's volume to silence their muffled voices and sit close to oh. Boba's and Simon's photos were still two black spots on their nose, but of course, why would they go away? Unless the officer did their fucking job. But they would never go investigate the fucking forest, that's just too unrealistic. But something did change. I could see how different the look of my classmates were they met me with a new portion of pokes and insults content mock me and loneliness because my fateful companion but most importantly a shadow slid across my desk leaving behind a mysterious note i glanced into the space between roads but the measure was already nowhere to be found who sent me this note who could this carefully ripped out a neat folded piece of paper be hiding from me more threats mission or a confession love <gasps> In this the person I think not I'm just saying I took out the beats favor and carefully inhaled the whiff in aroma Blackberry Inside was a message in beautiful handwriting I'm waiting at a dead inn near near the dressing room Come along Oh my god I really hope that's Polyon But it might be the bitch I don't know I have to flick a fucking guy Junk on the sudden call oh, the love I immediately started walking looking over my shoulder from time to time What's following me, aren't they? Making sure nobody's following me. Even though I suspect there could be another child set up by robot and put in a fist, this funny god soon left my run. Two didn't even come close, come to put out the fake bully is not there, so dumb, no fucking idiots! My words, I'm talking a little fast. I apologize. I didn't even notice I almost broke it all wrong and jumped around the corner. Hey! As soon as I did that, I rammed into someone inside the dark. Okay. Ow! Ah, uh, it is love! Of course it is. Probably not. I don't know. She probably thinks we're a freak. And she dies what I am. I like a magic bird. A green notebook glided from my feet. Probably and fucked her cheek. An exhausted anger. Sorry, Patreon, have you lost your sight completely? Well, yes! <laughs> Joking, obviously. I fixed my glasses. My nearsightedness wasn't that embarrassing anymore. I bent down and picked up the notebook. Sorry, I was. And alright, she seems pissed. Napoleon studied me with her eyes and clicked her tongue. Ah, yes. Do you know what you look like, Antion? Okay, sorry. First sign that was, I gotta apologize. Okay, the quiet boy in me is wanting to talk right now. I say this in every game. I do apologize. I even said this in Hello Show, I remember. But in the game so far, this right here is my favorite soundtrack. I'm not even kidding. Like, I downloaded this shit on my phone. I go to sleep, bro. Like, I, I bro, oh my god, man. I'll, I'll sleep to this fucking track. It is so beautiful. I love it so much. It's such a beautiful track. Sorry, quiet boy time over. I, I just, I had to gush on this track just for a second. It's so beautiful. But anyway, do you know what you look like, Antionish? Uh, coward, a freak? Like a creep. Like blues improve. I blinked in bewilderment. Is that a compliment? Is that a threat? I'm just so curious. I'm a bit dense. What do you mean? I always associate people I know with something. Oh, that's interesting. I do that too. But why music? Because music is the sound of love. It can't be anything other than music. Of course, she's a musician. What else is she gonna do, my fucking guy? I relate. Some people are like guitar solos. Some are jumps. Beating like the pound of destruction. People like all Olivia Polis are war marches. Of course she is. And you're so thoughtful. So mysterious, sometimes even a bit sad. And uh, what about the improv part? It's when a listener has no idea where the melody will go, what tempo it will adopt. That's very interesting. I assume that's referring to the audience himself. Very fascinating. Of course, some of the things Pauline said went completely over my head and into mine. But I couldn't stop looking at her smile. White like a breeze in May, and her eyes deep and blue. I mean, dang it, they look jet fucking black to me, my guy, because they're black and white. One needs to have experience and taste to recognize the music in you. You'll want to have an experience to touch my lips. Feel the music. You're not so pop. You're not some pop music. I don't think I even know what blues is, if I'm being honest. The blues. <gasps> Dude, sorry. I'm an ignorant little shit. Don't say something like that to my face. I'll make sure to give you a casserette. Sorry. Grandpa used to bring me so much music from the city. Jazz, swig, the classical tunes. He was the one to notice my musical mindset. I'm not saying I don't notice that, honey. It's just I'm a bit ignorant as all. When I was still very little, I tried recording the sounds of nature on paper. The songs of the rain and the forest. I wish I had ears like yours. And I'd love to have your eyes. Ah, thank you, madame. Funny enough, as well, this is not like a flex or anything. I'll be honest. Listen, my ego is very small. 
well. Uh, but I do actually get commented funny enough in real life. People always tell me I have beautiful eyes. And again, my eyes are green. I don't know what your eyes are. Maybe they're green too. We match, my brother. But maybe they're blue. Are oh, you a demon? I'm just saying. I tend to stop. Worried that she was making fun of me for a second. Pauline shook her head. Hey, honey. No, no, no. I'm serious. You have the eyes of an artist. Ah, I see. Funny. That, that, that. Yeah. That's. I mean, think, then again, if we were still continuing the same timeline, yeah, okay. I, I would understand that assessment. But gosh, she's a bit, um, incited. She's very incited, is she not? You're so good at picturing things I can't do. Well, that is the mind of imagination. How do you walk past her with her trademark frosty glare? And of course, she's not just gonna stop. She can't mind her own damn fucking business. That's surrealistic. She has to gossip and snitch. Like a fucking bitch. We don't go from there. She has to hide. Do us. Okay. You understand why we're hiding here, right? Because of people like her. Yeah, because we're gonna fucking bitch in the corner. No, obviously, I, I understand why she's a fucking bitch. Uh, and what kind of melody is Katya out of curiosity? Let me guess, a goddamn fucking nuke! William flashed me a sly smile. The squeaking sounds of unoiled door hinges. You know, this nasty descent. Well, I'm glad we're on the same page. I'm glad someone. <laughs> Katia didn't hear a whisper, thankfully, but she didn't glance over her shoulder, clearly annoyed. A moment later, she signed, <sighs> and she went her way. Bye-bye, a little bitch. <laughs> Ta -ta -ta -ta. I remembered about the notebook I was still clenching in my hand. I turned it in my hands. Instead of a subject name, the front side had the name of the uh, owner in two words. Friends only. Have you ever filled one? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, totally. Yeah, 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 yeah. In reality, girls' classmates from my preschool had never asked me to fill their questionnaires. It was quite unsafe. How dare they? I'm so popular yet! I mean, it was a girl hobby. You just answer a set of standard questions about your favorite actors and colors, but entrusting someone with such a notebook was a sign of friendship. Oh, I see. How we stepped out of the bounds of strangers and maybe even something more. Something I have only had a vague idea about. You can fill in mine if you want. Ah, My heartbeat quickened. I know that feeling and I fucking hate it! I do. Thank you. You mean I will? Actually, there's so many secrets there. You better off not knowing what we girls think. You know what? Honestly, that's probably for the best. She reached for the notebook, playing with me. I tossed my findings into a free hand, but I didn't try to intercept my mood. Yeah! How dare you? Her hair briefly touched my face, tickling my nose Gah! with its silky locks. I'm so sorry. I sensed a realm that immediately filled the whole world. Fragments, alluring, lively. Like I said, I, I, it's just me. She looks a lot like the mother, as if if the mother was younger with longer hair, she looks like she would be the same person. Is that just me tripping? Like, am I just the only one getting that fucking um interception? In, in, in my only, am I the only one thinking that fucking shit? The question is, is an important piece of evidence, so I'm afraid I have to confiscate it for further examination. Yes, yes, yes. I must study it. Quite weird, I must say. Pauline covered her mouth. That round and fake horse. <gasps> Oh, you don't me! And what are the implications of concealing evidence? We'll decide that in the course of our investigation. I surrender, Miss Big Officer. Just promise you won't read anything, okay? Well, it's full of sensitive information. I see what you're doing here, honey. You want me to read it? Then again, maybe she doesn't. If she generally doesn't want me to read it, and she gets mad at me for reading it, I swear to God, I will fucking generally slap this goddamn fucking bitch. But I'm just saying that's under assumptions. I'm afraid I'll have to investigate whatever someone is in love with Mr. Pata. <laughs> Then swear that you will keep this information private, mister. I swear on my police badge that I don't have. So, fingers crossed. And now we need to hurry on Toshia, yes, to our next classroom. Then again, it seems like we're in the same classroom all day, so that's just my opinion. I took out the notebook during class. Oh, no. I don't think that's a good idea, my guy. Skim through it, reading provinces. Maybe this is just my devious little shit of a brain thinking. I just feel like someone is about to get hurt because someone's gonna touch this and read it that they shouldn't. Some bitch is gonna come by and grab it and read it out loud. I was quite surprised to discover Roma's jerky handwriting inside. His letter bludged out of the cells as if embarrassed by their shapely numbness. Fearsome Rogue had found some time for something so silly. I chuckled in my fist after I found out that Rogue's favorite color is not even dark and duck, but duck. 
hotels. Oh, so does this even have our info? I mean, then again, I guess if it's a questionnaire, multiple people can have their information into this, but that's wrong because then we definitely shouldn't let him see it. He's definitely going to kill us if we know. Someone in the distance, a teacher of sign pieces of and just snap it. I paid them no mind, of course. Playing pays with decorated flowers, drawings, and clipping from the cool girls magazine. Her favorite musician is coming again. Her best friend is her grandpa. I just got to bad idea to recent class when everyone's like, hates us. I flipped through the pages, I found a blank one, and ours myself. Okay, yeah. It's time to make my mark. Auntie and Petro, class six B. Favorite hobby. <laughs> This one's easy. New Year's. I, a, a holiday. I was like, hobby? The fuck? That makes no sense. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. Hobby, oh yes, my favorite hobby is Halloween, bro. Did you know? Fuck. Hobby, drawing, obviously. My dream, going to Disneyland, I guess. That is a bit of a weak dream, my guy. But listen, obviously you're young, you know, you're short-sighted, my hero. My hand moved on his own, running. Uh, I stopped on those two letters. What if those who read this after me will find my answer laughable and stupid? I think for a bit, I decided that not everyone should be this closed on paper. That's how Da turned into spy Dom, and the spelling was wrong, but who cares? <laughs> oh, yeah. my favorite deal. My Da man, bro. Do you like Bat Dom, man? I like Super Dom, man, <laughs> if I'm being on it. My biggest fear, probably cockroaches. Actually, that's a lie. It's high. I hate myself. I merely wrote losing a person who's dear to me. Oh, yeah, I know that feels. Sucks, but listen, it's not that bad. Then again, I guess chalking that. Listen, I'm gonna shut up. Okay, it is pretty shady. Listen, your phone number. Let's not put that in there. Your best friend. I hesitate. <laughs> Nine on the pins cap. Your best friend. The answer to that was my sister's name, so I carefully wrote it into the square. <laughs> Unfortunately, I mean, again, listen, Ola, she is quite the, you know, charming sister. Why is the music stopping? Is something gonna happen? But still, quite sad that our best friend is our sister. Then again, I mean, listen, she is lovely. There we go. Fucking Christ. The music took a minute to step back in. Okay. I really thought someone was gonna read it. Then again, I mean, yes, technically speaking. Saying back that Romica also took part in it, it means that a lot of students, so I guess, is it just like one book with everyone page? I mean, listen, it's not that big a deal, I guess. Okay, just got me. A little bit scared. I thought it was just like her personal, like, diary for a second. I was like, oh my god. But no, okay, not that bad. It's just a questionnaire for literally every fucking student in classmate. Okay, that makes me feel so much better. Don't wanna have a repeat, if you know what I mean. Oh, I repeat my sister's name while sneaking out of the school. Yes, I jumped through the window. They never saw. To me, there was a cute, freshly drawn dragon in my notebook that I made to please my beloved sister. Ah! In this land of darkness and the slipped, her support was the only thing that inspired me to keep drawing and stopped me from losing home to many. Aw, well that's sweet. It was right outside, <laughs> and the sun looked like a whole egg yolk. The road looked as if it was silver. The snow sparkled in the sun. I smiled, squinting from the blinding whiteness. Who cares if I don't have any true friends anymore? I have something more important, someone who needs my help. <laughs> And someone who will never betray or hurt me. Well, that's sweet. Family is the most important thing after all. That's what dad always tells me. Yes, yes, yes. Hey, what's up with the stupid grin? My nuns went limp immediately. Ah, uh, guys, there goes away the shining hope, and in comes the gloom and doom and darkness that is you. What's up, bitch? Bon Xiao was shuffling his feet, his feet in the middle. Okay, sorry, that, that I was so confused. Like feet in the mouth. What are you doing, guys? In the yard, I won't question your kings. His boot restless on the ice. It's not a grin. It's a smile. <laughs> Try to go around. Do you know a bell? Ah, of course. Lady Fortune waved me goodbye. Damn it, Lady Luck. I thought I sucked you off so much, though. Disappearing into the early twilight. In a hurry, eh? A little bit, you know. Father is waiting for me. My old man, as I would say. I'll shoot him a pager messenger that you're not coming. Oh. Let's go, hey. We have small business to discuss. Oh. I felt chills running over my body. This isn't good. I don't like the sounds of that small business. Obviously, I'm gonna get the shit kicked out of me. What else is gonna go on? Busha turned around. He looked like an astronaut in his tight hood. If I was to imagine him as a sound, he'd be d a dampening whistle, a signal given by someone who stands. What? To my demise, there was no one at the backyard. Unfortunately. Hey, friend, what's up? How are you? Hey, buddy, we gonna slap Knuckles one more time? I mean, listen, it's been so long since we talked. Listen, I mean, we have so much in common, right? You know, our fathers are both veterans. I mean, that was a lie on my part, so not really. And you probably felt really assaulted by that. I mean, then again, but listen, friends, we just have so much in common. Like, listen, what are we gonna do, guys? We wanna kiss? We gonna fuck? I'm just so curious. How you doing? There he is. I can see that. Well, I'm glad to see you have eyes. That's nice. Want some glasses? Well, hello there, Antosia. Hey. 
What do you want? I... Uh, he swiped got a thin kind of shiny blade. Man, in fact, I didn't do anything. A knife to steal butterfly death to fight for his victim. I beat. I step back and say, Lee, I don't blame you. You fucking fearful. And my back in the bush, yeah, Rome got minion pushed me back. We wanted to know, do you have any hard feelings for me or Bushia? Um, no. <laughs> what are you talking about? We're best friends. We grew up. I knew you since uh, kindergarten. Obviously, you were my neighbor. We had so many fun times in the fields and the flowers and you know. Why would I have any bad feelings on you, you absolute prick? Well, there in the forest, we kind of roughed you up. Yeah. But listen, it's in the past. Water over the bridge. It's just our poor upbringing, you know? Of course, obviously. You didn't mean it. Yeah, not as cultured as you used to these folks. I mean, hey, listen, it is what it is. So we get feisty sometimes. Of course, you gotta come up with your own entertainment, obviously. I know you did. My eyes glued to the knife. The blade glowed under the setting sun. It his eyes to the same evil. <laughs> no! Let's calm down. He stepped for me. Listen, just put the knife away. It's okay. Bubble, bubble, bubble. One moment. A steel cut into my cloth and he put the... But listen, what? Bubble, bubble, bubble. A little bear told us that you were snooping about pulling in again. Well, snooping, snooping. The fine snooping. We're just talking. We're friends. That's all. I was scared that it took me a while to remember who pulling in was. My brain was malfunctioning. My knees were shaking. Fear was kicking in. The adrenaline as well. Oh, hi. God damn it, bro. This bitch, she's so beautiful, but I wish she was ugly. You goddamn fucking whore. I see you boys are getting along quite well. I owe you one, Kata. Oh, no need to thank me, Ropey. I always find for true love. Of course you are. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, do you have love for Polya? Listen, if you want to fuck her, that's fine. I want to fuck the box. So, first speaking, I don't really give a shit. But listen, my guy, I'm sorry if I'm stepping on your turf, your toes. I'll kill you, I swear. I can't hear you. Were you near Pullion or not? Well, we didn't hang out or anything, technically speaking. The only thing hanging out there will be your guts when I cut you open your stomach. Let's calm down. The wind made my face cold, but a bead of sweat still tickled from my temple. A switch flipped in my head. It all makes sense now. I remember. Look at a constantly sneaking glances at Pullion. I remember his scratchly handwriting in the questionnaire. Why didn't I study it more? In Ugh. I see you near Pullion even once, and you won't get away with a simple bump. Got it? Now scram. I was probably so hypnotized by the knife that Romeo had to repeat his threat. SCRAM! Sad. I thought about the cold, sharp blade when retreating from the yard. I was asking myself whether I had enough courage to break the promise I made to those bats. You have to taste the horrible water I drank down my meds with what lingered in my mouth. My thoughts were focused on Pullion. But Romeo's threats were also on my mind. Gotta say, that music cut was so no, sh- Pullion was talking non-stop at times, lifting up her hands. God, can you shut up? Language, only to then suddenly go quiet and get my mom's sick tree glaring. Looked. I was yanked out of the person of my own mind when seeding thoughts picked up my brain like harpies, stopping me from coming back to reality. Uh, sorry if I wasn't paying attention. There's so much going on in the mind. I'm so glad you shut up. Listen, honey, I love you, but I gotta say, you know, talking, 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 there's so much going through my thoughts. I'm gonna shut up. You weren't listening to me, were you? She tried spinning out those words at me, copying facial expressions to the person she spent almost all her free time with. For a moment, I felt like the light Odie exotic from all these years, wand and wavered in the wind of the prolonged changes. Sorry, oh. I didn't want to make you mad. I just got lost in Ah, that's all. I looked in a room, my gaze jumping from one object to another like a hungry beast. But, um, hey, listen, it's okay. Let's play the console. <laughs> oh, pouted, but there was a spark of interest in her small emerald eyes. Oh, you got green eyes, too. That's nice. The Snow Queen's eyes shot inside them, so I thought. And what about the second controller? It's not working. Game. Listen, you can play and I'll watch. And dad has no time to fix it. Listen, we'll take turns. It's okay. We can play with the light gun then. Do 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 we gotta shoot the light. Boom 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 boom. <laughs> what do you wanna play? Cowboy ducks! You're better than me at bow. Oh, well it's okay. Come on, you can always get better. It's okay. A few minutes something that happens over the course of time. You must have been practicing the whole time I was away from home, right? How'd you know? Well, you know, just a silly little gas, but I'm gonna shoot now. You already Oh, you you dare challenge me! I'll fucking squash you little girl. You picked the wrong fight here. Let's go! <laughs> wow. 
I gotta say, that picture, my guy, looks a bit creepy if I'm being honest. Little O jumped towards the TV set and after flicking the power switch, started blindly feeling around the back of the side of the pulse, trying to play the console's cable into the antenna input. Did anything interesting happen at home? Those expressions slowly changed. <laughs> She lost all the childish non channelish she worked so hard to acquire before. What happened, though? She was clearly looking for the courage to continue the conversation. Oh, she... Lola went silent, and for a moment I thought I saw tears welling up in her eyes. She had this scary thing happen to her again. She had a fit, huh? A fight? This happened before, but it was a rare occasion. Now we moved into this godforsaken place. Mom's fits rose and see well i mean then again you know when you're in the doom and gloom that is this place what the fuck am i staring at a fish dad brought home a huge big fish it was wrapped in a newspaper and had a house no. mom got angry again and took a knife oh hey i can see that your eye your face lovely design oh screaming looking fearfully out the window Started screaming at each other. I froze, imagining my little sister so small. No, no, she was standing in the kitchen doorway. She wasn't even trying to hide. Our parents just paid her no mind, of course, and then struck it. Oh, well, slightly moved her fist downwards. Imitating a rock. She hit the fish. She's still alive, Toby. She must have been paid a mom. Yeah. Happiness. Whenever death got this close to my mom, be it with a person with was hit by a bus in front of us, or their blood was smeared over the windshield, or with grandma chopped off a chicken head, mom would always get into a weird trip. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's really little, but she fell in the face. The fish got cheese. Such a wizard. She's like the major first time of a cheese. Bleed up. It's a cheese. Is it really about that? Did he help me? Yes, but at first he started laughing. Tosha. <laughs> I feel uncomfortable in so many ways. <laughs> but then he cried. Oh, the story made me rise in day. I brow. It seemed like the force using madness has not only completely consumed the mom, but also infected our strong and courageous dad. I quickly stepped towards O oh, and locked her in a tight embrace. Why are they bullying each other, Tosha? Yeah, man, I, I, I understand, you know, money must be so tight in scenario and that, and you know, and like, I, I've never, obviously I've never dated to go to begin with, so I don't really have much experience, but listen, I'm just throwing my two cents out there. I get it, you know, parents, they clearly loved each other and something along the way happened, their love changed, and I guess, you know, they're either staying with each other for the sake of the kids or in hopes that maybe that thing they once had would, you know, come back, that spark would reignite, you know, but sometimes people change, you know what I mean, and if things aren't working out it's just best to split i understand the idea of you know the children situation probably isn't fine but i'm just saying it's better for you to just leave each other and be in a non-hostile environment than what you're currently in because right now it's only causing trauma for both of you and the parents are probably wanting to kill each other are they crazy i should Stuttered. Unable to justify the actions of our parents, I had ran out of words, and all I could do was hug. Oh, even tighter. <laughs> hey! uh, it's just the TV is all. Let's just play the game, okay? Let's try to have some fun. Enough of the doing. Go! How are things at school? Well. Um, fine. They're just perfectly fine. Nothing good. Yeah, it's kind of shit. The school is new, but my treatment is the same. And there goes our fun. Back to the doom and gloom. As if we never moved. The poor despair could lead me down this depressing road towards the clutches of oppressive thoughts. Something evil with deep inside my skull. While waking wild and pleasant memories. Actually, something good happened. Oh, the bunny that is us. Oh, watched with hope. Filled eyes as a wicked smile spread on my face, brightly resembling the wound from a box cutter knife. Oh, that. I was referring to something else, but yeah, a boy did go missing. Tosha, do you think that's good? Why'd you say that? My sister boy trembled when she looked into my eyes through the thick lenses. You know, the other boy missing over might... Maybe what happened to him was on his call. Maybe he... That's quite an assumption. Let's just calm down. Oh, pressed her knees into her chin and hugged them with her hand, trying to take up less space, as if she wanted the streak or even disappear together. It's the only resemble thing for us to do. Go missing amongst all the other broken toys and every kind of evil parents are back. That's me. We are the only ones left for each other. The only ones who can protect, listen, and sympathize, which means she's bound to listen to what I think about them all. These beasts pretending to be children that are so eagerly, totally the weak. 
It's my turn this week. I think they won't be the last, unfortunately. People like them are not worth living. Is this really necessary? Should you be saying this to your little sister who's clearly having a lot of troubles? Listen, I understand you're the older brother and you probably have a lot of shit on your mind and I get it. But at the same time, you're, you know, uh, sister is having a lot to go through. If let's not add on to that depressive nature, please. Nature, sorry. Don't she stop it! You're scaring me! Don't be scared, I can protect you! I finally noticed that Oh was looking at me like I was a stranger. Who are you? The rage that welled up inside my knee subsided. It hid under the guise of my cowardliness, leaving me alone with the growing feeling of guilt for scaring my sister. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. I guess I'm just going crazy in that school. She watched to embrace me, barely holding back her tears. I would imagine. It's okay, Toshi. Just please never say anything like this again. I will try. I swear on my mom's heart until she dies. And that promise clearly broken. I'm just joking. I'll see a bit of a dark humor. I do apologize. Oh, flashed me with a bit of smile. And you told me I shouldn't say that. You're right. Let's just play already. Let's just move on with the fucking scene. That's quite the gun, Missy. Let's calm down. I'll go Hey, round one, we did. You won't get away from me, mister! Oh, I'm so skilled. Ah, oh, man, I, I don't, I, ah, uh, man, I really want to, oh my god, bro, I'm so collected. Listen, I, I love the fact that I'm able to play this game, but I kind of want to let my sister win. I'm going to be honest with you. Just for this sake, I'm going to kind of lose. Oh, no, I'm missing. I can't hit them. They're just so fast. Huh? Who wants some more? You little, listen, I was third at first, but I will admit, those ducks are kind of hard to hit. Fucking Christ, he's fucking birds! And I can't do a One second. Oh no! You won! What a shame! Ah, oh, bang bang! And they're dead. You lost, Toshi! Oh my god, you're just so bad at me. Fine. I submit to my little sister. Uh, my mom only managed to get through me on her third attempt. I'm done! There's a call for you, so we do have a fucking phone. So I can call the officer in silence. It's the girl. Oh, poor Leon. Maybe not. I don't know. It could be the fucking bitch. I sort of an incident. and rushed to the hallway. I grabbed the phone and I pressed it into my chest. Looking at my mother. It's okay, madame. She's no whore. She struggled and went into the room, gathering the toys thrown around by Oa. She went. Uh. Hello? Your mom has such a young voice. Ah, oh, Polly and my dad! How are you? <laughs> well, yeah. I mean, she is still young. Is she legal? I'm gonna shut up. Are you uh, busy right now? Uh, no. Of course not. If only she knew how costly this conversation could be for me. What risks I took on just entering this call? Oh my god. The pain! There was a pen and a shabby notebook laying around on night. Oh, that's right, because I put my thing in the questionnaire. Of course she would know my number. Oh, that's so beautiful. I picked them up and started moving the tip of the pen across the paper. Producing chaotic doodles that always ended up turning into hearts. Aw, I've been thinking. I need to tell you something. Please don't let it be negative. I froze. It can't be. Do you love me? You've been looking so lost lately. And when I saw you at school today, you were pale as a ghost. I wanted to say that I'm on your side. Oh, well, that's nice. Then again, a smile was spreading my face in anticipation of Pauline's next words. And I feel so sorry for you. Yeah, good guys like you deserve better. They always do. But I want to believe that you'll find the strength to fight back at some point and the others will stop picking on you. The pin fell out of my weak fingers. Is that all she's going to say? Listen, it's okay. Maybe we'll find a girl. Listen, my guy, my guy, calm down. Even if she doesn't like you, it's fine. It's not that big a deal. There are plenty of fish in the sea. Just calm down. Well, I just want to let you know that you're a nice guy. Thanks. It was totally for you. Listen, it's okay. Compassion instead of an invitation to hang out. You there? Listen, my guy, maybe if I did beat him up in the previous episode, maybe she wouldn't invite me. Listen, my guy, it's okay. It's not that big a deal. Before I reply, Otis into the stairs. Read me a bedtime story, please. Fine, fine, fine. You win as the loser of Duck Hunt. My last reply sounded exactly annoyed. I signed, watching my sister run up the stairs. Hello, uh, Polina? Are you still there? She left it! <laughs> Sorry, I need a run. Can you imagine? There's someone in love with me, and he snoops about under my windows, demanding to go on a date with him. 
Oh, it's that Roman. I'll go chase him away before Grandma. That's a creepy way of doing it. Listen, ask in school. Don't show up at a door. Or maybe I should give him a chance. I mean, I bit my little in jealousy. I'll tell you tomorrow if you want. Yeah, we're friends after all. Gosh, <laughs> friends. At least she didn't say we were besties. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Good. Buzzing the hammer on my brain. Ooh, jealousy, my guy. An angry voice spoke through the teeth of my brain like a relentless zombie devoured with conscience. I dragged my feet up the staircase. It's okay, I wish I could tell Dad, ask him for manly if I. But he didn't show up home until late at night because of his new job. My parents don't have time for me to put it lightly. Of course, they don't, they never do. Here's your book. Oh? She probably snuck into my room. Of course, I started walking down the corridor. The room was infested with shadows. The blinds were weaving like there was someone behind. I smiled, sneaked towards the window, threw up a gun. Hiya! There was no one behind the cloth, but there is someone outside. Oh, are you talking to the fancy, sexy fox? I don't blame you! I would fuck her too. The window was a TV screen showing wintry scenario. Sorry, scenario, scenario. Some fucking wordless. I'm sorry, I fucking pause. I didn't know! Scenario the lamp post, the field, and a couple of walking figures in the middle of <laughs> I gasped and pressed my fist to my mouth, sneaking my teeth into it. At least he was leaning O until the thing is that's not good. I need less than a minute to hurry dress fresh out of the house. My heart was beating like a fiery machine gun. The wind carried the cold, resting a smell of continuous freeze from the boys. Freezing air crackled somewhere in the field. Two shadows loomed in front of the gate. I can only recognize them as my sister and the fox girl because of their hide. I ran towards the fence, listening to the howling wind in the spooky snow. The figure slowly moved and slowly glided towards the thickest like an ice skater. Finally caught to my sister, just only in a coat. Have you seen the foxy? Uh, yeah, but why did you go outside? If mom finds out, my sister froze in place, facing the taiga. Yeah. She was in hands reach and I put my numb wrist on her shoulder for some reason, probably to make sure it wasn't a dream. Oh my god! Point deep beak was to strike, dry your egg. Did at me. I'm sorry, my words just got thrown off by the fucking snare. Yeah. Stern with feathers that formed an owl's face. Hoot, hoot. She won't. No voice sounded exactly like oh, but there was someone else hiding behind the feathers in the car. <laughs> Did I switch the way I got word? The mask which only pretend to be oh, just to lure me out. I was running like crazy, drowning. No, the house in front of me was rapidly growing. The yellow light from the windows went to me. Oh, my mom was just up there. My cell phone, I couldn't hear anything. Yeah, the noise was in my ears to get the alcohol. I was already climbing the porch when I noticed another figure. Uh, guy from the snoop black shadow is a scummy wolf. Go down and just stood in the way. The beast's eyes shone, but he didn't attack. He kept crawling around and running on all fours. I shifted my feet, my mouth agape, trying to keep him in my line of sight. Something was trickling from the slit on the mask, which is just felt to wooden blink saliva. Some unknown force pushed me into the back, whispering me to myself. The fence was flashing by the edge of my vision. I was running in the night distance time, direction towards the TV exit. The force fell to find my RP mention. Time to Kid, it's you and me, Jim. Oh, I yanked out, crushing my breath, fell to the ground. Plastic is still preventing me from standing up and bobbing out against anything but my mouth. Oh my god, Jim, just fucking run! <laughs> I rammed into the scratchy trunk, slid down to its base, and looked around in a panic. Woo! You're so fast, you know that? My first desire was to dash towards Serene. Hucker. I resisted it though, and I squeezed myself even tighter into the pine. Um, what are you doing here? She was holding the hat I lost. What a kind lady, working part time and lost and found. Put it on, or your ears will freeze and maybe you'll fall off s <laughs> soon. I squinted in suspicious, and I shifted my gaze back and forth between her and the hat. Scared that Alicia might be holding a separate hand or something even more sinister. But in the end, my hat turned out to be just my hat. What are the odds? A hat is a hat. A bat is a bat. A cat is a cat. What are the odds? Well, I'll just take it. Thank you. I put it on and pull it over my forehead. There were some children in the yard. And did they bite you or something? <laughs> out of curiosity? No. no. And why did you run away? The answer was obvious. But after rolling the thought on my tongue, I mumbled. I don't know. Ah. 
Why did I promise to never call you a dunce again? Oh, well, I'll keep my promise. I mean, you did just indirectly call me a dunce, did she not? So maybe, but listen, but damn, I must stop. <laughs> She walked up to grab me and grab me by the elbow. She did. I sent a familiar aroma of mint oranges and burnt sparklers. I wanted to lean into her more. To save it a minute, so you tell of a smell. How many times when you tell you you're safe as long as you're with me? Well, that's good to hear. I'm your friend. What about the wolf? Is he your friend too? The owl? The little shit in the fucking yard? And they are my friends. And they are too. I quickly turned around towards the place the fox girl was pointing towards. <laughs> Kids and masks appeared at the clearing. At least they looked like kids and they were all pretty short. That's odd. So, out of curiosity, are those all the lost kids? Cause the fat one could be Soyman and maybe Vove was one of the others as well. That's definitely an owl! A wolf, an owl girl, and a bear. Oh, uh, how thin guys friend. I'm really tired. <laughs> oh, I thought you fell through the snow. Yeah, I started digging around, but couldn't find you. That odd, and I didn't either. Didn't care enough. <laughs> you see, if you're dumb, you run around a dick. <laughs> you're a rat. <laughs> Die! Rat. Huh? I stood there, stupefied, my mouth again, my hand dangling helplessly. Yeah, I gotta say, even if they are friends, still don't feel comfortable in this scenario until that fucking mask comes out. I have no idea how to react to the words of these late night guests, but I managed to squeeze out something resembling a smile. You're just scared. <laughs> That's all. Yeah. God, you're so hot. I'm sorry, bro. The fox. I, I, I really hope you're not a mind. If you're, if you're a mind, then all my words I said, irrelevant. Didn't mean them. Officer lost. I didn't say anything. But still, oh God, her fucking eyes are so beautiful. They start looking at each other. <laughs> Someone even snoring. <laughs> As if I said something funny. Have we finally found him? Hi, buddy. Yes, he looks the part. <laughs> You not. Of course, you were first. Wolfie here was the first to sense the bunny in you. He told us about you. Oh, um, hello. Do I, should I put the mask on? And you already met our hootie before. She's not scared, is she? I guess not. <sighs> this is smiling big guy, Daddy. What? I see you also dropped your sense of humor somewhere along the way. It's okay, sir. I was still unsure if these particular little animals had the best intentions in mind, so I held my hand behind my back, trying to look away from the gaping holes in their colorful masks. Well, I mean, you say gaping holes. What about Madame? Elisa puts her hands on her side, as she always does in such a theoretical manner. And someone managed to wink with our face, Fox face. Next time we come, we'll ring bells for you. That way you'll be less scared of our visit. My smile was no longer fake. Ah, you showed us your teeth. That's a good sign. I didn't expect you to find us fun. Well, it's not that you're fun. It's just, you know, terrifying Ash with you're hot. But listen, the other three, you know, when I walk around the corner, I see you something that looks like a fucking demon trying to kill me. Gotta say, pretty terrifying in the you know, moment of the action. I thought it was an emotion reserved strictly to Disneyland. <laughs> How did you know that? I read about it somewhere. Oh, did you? You read about me in the questionnaire, meaning that you must be students. All things I said in the previous videos, you know, I didn't mean I'm listening. You're clearly all minus listen. Anything I said about a fox being sexy, listen, I clearly didn't mean, okay, it was just a joke. It was not a funny joke. I didn't say, but listen, I take no responsibility or part. Listen, I take full responsibility. Listen, I don't mean it. Is that what you say it? I'm not fucking a minor, okay? Aren't you funny? <laughs> no, not about Disneyland, darling. You can read human. Yes. Do you think I've been going to school every day for nothing? Then she sang in a quotation's Oh, okay, please don't fuck. When I hit kids every week, when I prey on all the meek at your local school, of course, and in your classroom, I let out a cautious laugh, as you should. I still don't trust you, fucks. But, ah, uh, yes, if the beautiful OST, that is, everything is fine, it's gonna play, then yes, I must lower my god, because it's a beautiful OST. My new acquaintance seems scary anymore. On the contrary, they looked friendly and welcomed me. Now, I don't know, that song seemed kind of dangerous, but I'm beyond. Red flag. There was something about them that attracted me, just like this clearing, this moon, and the snowflakes that fell backwards from the ground to the sky as if someone was rewinding a tape. 
The masked kid got close and I felt their touch. Ah! They gave me a friendly top, top, no, don't touch me lips! There was no animalistic malice in their touch, only pure childish curiosity. For some reason, I thought to myself, I can trust them. Yeah, wait, what the fuck? Why are snowflakes going up? That makes no logical- Listen, it's a game. I'm gonna stop a question, okay? No one will hurt you anymore. Friend! Yeah, someone ever tried to! The fox gave me a slight tug. Burst out laughing. Well then, Tosha, will you want to raise screaming? Or come with us? Do the amusement park! At that moment, Tycoon's deceptive silence was broken by the sound of a distant flute. Memorizing, mesmerizing, and alluring. It brought about the ring of crystal glass and whispers of fresh winter spring. If I had any doubts before, the flask, the flute, the flask, the flute, the flute, the flute, the flute song shattered the last of them. I started following my new friends before I could even make my decision. Oh, could I not at least press a button, make a save? I guess not. My legs carried me on their own wheel, and the tunnels made a spine. Step the pod, push it, bowed in the front of our procession. Everything looked dreamlike. I mean, yes, well, gravity is moving you up. I would imagine that. Because even the clear, we ended up only on, I only saw it in my dream. The flute saw up in the treetops like some potato bird. I just gasped in amazement. I was also in awe. Yes, beautiful, the moon is not. I took my head back. So if I could far as far as I could. This is nothing. I can show you much more if you want. I did want. I wanted to see what the fox girl saw of her eyes, hidden in the semi-dark of her cage. Now I didn't feel weird about these masked kids. I felt weird for being the only one without a mask. Speaking of which, I felt like I was naked in the January skin. Why do you wear these masks? Why do you ask? I um touched my cold cheek. I'm not wearing one. I already told you, all the villagers wear masks. You're not wrong, there's some way they do. And it's just you who won't find anything human underneath them. We already found your glasses once already. And you did it! And you found my mask, your real face. Well, do I really have many options yet? Fine, give me the mask! Also, um, if you don't mind me asking, this is completely random, I'm just so curious, you know, curiosity, you okay. Um, where did Simon disappear to? If you are aware of this, you know, individual, what happened to him, if you don't mind me asking? And the other children, too. The bear and the... How looked at each other. The wolf boy curled into a ball, and the fox lowered the pointy nose of her mask. The one who was kept in a cage. And the one who cuts into lonely pieces. <laughs> the one who wears a skin face tuck up. If I knew how to cross myself, I'd do it too. So you're saying it was a human, and were you even listening? Yes, I was listening. Okay, I understand your point at the fucking always. Listen, I'm still gonna ask this stupid ass fucking question, okay? I'm sorry! A fucking idiot. How can you call someone like him human? Oh, that. Well, uh, just one word for him and a dull! Killers. True animal trainers and cold parents. Ah, if you don't want to get sad, but I'll have to think about them, that is. I don't know about you, but I definitely don't want to be sad. What now? We gotta sit and be sad or have some fun! The fox girl took out a handful of candy from her pocket and handed each other. You will think your candy is impressive. One second, Missy! My bars are due! Fucking cry. Uh, I do apologize. Listen, I ignore this, okay? Like I said, not another flex and again, look at all this candy. I gotta admit, I do have generally a very bad fucking sweet tooth, and it is October, so far me wants to treat myself. Listen, my damn, I got candy too, okay? But you, you want some food? You want some gummies? You want some shit? Do you want it? But damn, very hot, I must say. The finger and mouth kind of sexy. Could you know what the, the last treat, the chocolate favor rubber can, also put into my mouth. I gotta say, God, man. She's so fucking hot, I can't help it, bro. I'm a furry. I don't give a shit, bro. The fox masks the eyes, man. Want some? My tongue was engulfed in spice. I felt like my body was covered in fur and small sparks were running along it. I chewed on a waffle and the chocolate, gulped them down, enjoying the vivid taste. Thanks for your touch. And now that's left is to put on the mask. Just like that. I didn't even notice how I put it against my skin. See? I told you. This is yours. Mine! Yeah. Mine. Melly kept swirling in the field like a hurricane. I couldn't want I couldn't wait to release the energy, the heat that this enchanting music was feeling. <laughs> I heard her laughter from someone above, but she laid it down. Help me, sorry. I must say, that's quite impressive. You can do it, you give it a try. Oh, excuse me? I follow suit. <gasps> my feet tore from the ground.
ground. I flew towards the side, like a lark, and screamed from happiness after seeing my friends down below. I vomit. If I was to use real life, I vomit. The adrenaline, the adrenaline must be quite nice. The wind helped me fly. Felt like I was jumping on a huge plane. The stars looked like vivid sparkles that I could reach and lick up. The moon also got closer, and then I plunged. I got scared that I'd break my legs for a moment, but my soles landed softly on the ground. I regained my balance. Thank fucking Christ. You're safe with us, and all your dreams will come true. I'm so happy that I finally found you, bunny. The fit of a merry laughter. I realized the most important thing. These four are not a threat. Thank God. My real enemies, and I felt that every single hair on my mask was those who knew nothing about my magic. Humans from the village. Oh, isn't that cool? Quite nice. I also realized how alive my surroundings would become. I had the dry grass and the snow moon. Moan! What? What? I saw faces of the trees and the stars. The trees were smacking. The stars were grimacing and fear. Um, that's right. Be scared. I'll jump up to you. Could you not? <gasps> um, hey, madame. We flew higher than the tiniest pine and stayed in the air. Hey, did someone put a spell on you? That someone is standing next to me. Oh, and it was all just a dream. Of course it was. None of it was fucking Well, at least he's happy, but damn it, man. It was just a dream. It wasn't real. You gotta be kidding me, man. Well, that feeling was pleasant. At least he's happy, if nothing else. The whole class was wondering about, wondering about for some reason, whispering and passing notes to each other. Their faces looked like this color mask to me, bleak and boring. I yawned. Remember the time I was soaring high above the forest with Elisa by my side, laughing and Squeezing my hand. Perhaps. <laughs> no. Probably. It was all just a silly little dream. Because I didn't walk back to the forest. Just woke up in my bed on a normal morning with tea and medicine. Still, I was hardly worried about trying to find a rational explanation for my night dance. That feeling of flight was much more important. And Sorry! I uh, got lost in thought. <laughs> I guess. Have you heard about Kaita? Huh? Oh! She went missing too. Well, that's unfortunate. She went missing. Yeah. No shit, Sherlock. What do you mean? It, it can't. Well, I mean, this is what she gets for being a bitch. I'm just gonna say it now. Gotcha. But that's what she gets. Thank you. Oh, no, no. We are doing grateful for everyone who purchased the game in early access. All the profits will go towards further development of the game. No, you son of a bitch! But I wanted to play more. Oh, and the gang's all here. Well, guys, that was Tiny Bunny Episode Three. Damn, man, that was so good. Oh, I was enjoying that so much. And of course, of course, of course, of course, it sadly has to end. God damn it, man! But holy shit. Good. Like I said, I've said this in multiple episodes, I'll say it again. I love this game. I love the art style. I love the story that's being tell told. And I do like the fact that the options generally have consequences, right? Um, I explored a little bit in episode two, I'm not gonna lie. I didn't do too much, but I did see what happened if you punch them and I went a little bit further. You actually get a lot of cool options. Unfortunately, as much as I do want to like explore those options, I don't want to bother like, you know, rewinding the timeline and exploring different stuff until after the game's complete. And then, you know, after we do, you know, episode four and five, then yeah, we could do another run of the game, you know, explore some options. But until then, man, go! God, it's so sad. I want to play more. But just like everything in life, all good things must come to an end. Unfortunately, let me know down below what you thought of the episode. And without further ado, unfortunately, my name is, of course, as always, a magic team. And hopefully, I see you guys in the next one. God damn it, man. And I will see you when episode four of Tiny Bunny comes out. When that's gonna happen, I don't fucking know. But God, man, I'm, I'm, miss, I'm gonna miss this game. It's so fun, bro. I want to play more. But I guess we'll have to wait for now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. I'm, just, I'm gonna go. Okay. Uh, bye, bye, bye. Double fun nuts. And I'll uh, see you, little fox later. Right okay. Uh, peace. Bye, bye. Bye. Guys, what am I doing, bro? Bye, guys. Fucking Christ, man.